why do you want to be a street nigga in the first place? Bro? I don't know. Ask, ask, a video. ask a them goofy that, niggas. Because every real yeah. street nigga acts like they're not. Yeah, every real Cause street I'm not. nigga don't For the record, be a street nigga. I'm not a street nigga. The fuck is just... Anyways. So, all right. So, boom. What's wrong with these niggas, bro? Ace I mean versus drugs. So, hold on. Let me set it up. Woo! Ace I mean versus drugs. Ow! This so might what? be too close to home. And I'm going to keep it all the way at bay. You feel me? But, all right. So, Ace I mean and drugs have some kind, of, some kind of issue behind the scenes. Like, I don't know what happened, what transpired, but they got beef. I guess and, what? I would bet. How much money am I bringing? I would bet everything in my bank account mm-hmm. right now that the root of it has something to do with a female. Possibly. That's 95% of the beefs. Nigga, make it about something else when it come down to everything come to a head. They mm-hmm. make it about something else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's why niggas be vague. Like, oh, niggas a bitch-ass nigga. Let me, let me, let me finish. Because if you really violate it, niggas will go at your neck. But since... Probably a woman is the root of the thing. Even a real nigga not going to fight over a bitch that's not his. So, you just got to be less than a man. You you cut off and all this other shit. I'm just saying, from my standpoint, if I was carrying it like how Ace carrying it, it would probably be because it's over a bitch. But look. Deep down. But look, Ace, I mean, already declared that for this situation to be resolved, drugs gotta get on camera. Uh, 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 uh. And and do what Jay Moore did. Apologize. <laughs> he gotta, you know, he gotta... Cause in, if you're not gonna mean, stand though. on it, you gotta apologize, though. Well, I agree. You gotta do look, one. I want to listen, bro, but behind the scenes, I'm telling you what's going on, bro. All I'm right, keep right. it being behind the scenes. All right, kick drugs, your brown. Kick drugs your is like... Listen, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I apologize. You feel me? Like, okay. See, I didn't me? know that. I don't want no smoke. A bit, 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 bop. No, but, it's, and that's, to me, that's not always copping a deuce. Sometimes you mm. know you wrong as a man and you just say now, you're wrong. I don't wrong. know for sure. I'm giving you my, what I think based off of oh, what. Oh, so it's not like a, it's public that he yeah, apologized. Yeah, it's not public, okay, but okay. I'm going to tell you why I think that. Okay. Because Ace I mean just keeps stressing like that he, the thing, he had a conversation with drugs. And how what drugs is saying behind the scenes to him needs to be expressed publicly. You feel because me? people don't know exactly, and he feel like he did something publicly, so it got to be addressed publicly. You right. feel me? But okay. drugs. I'm, if you watch this interview with drugs on caps, whenever Asa Mean name was brought up, I'm gonna keep it a bean, which I'm just gonna tell you what I felt and what I seen. What I seen was he got first of all he got uncomfortable. Right, as if he didn't want to talk, he would. He didn't want to say the wrong thing because you because know, if you speak on watching. a real nigga, they gonna have exactly. some pull up game. For you. There you go. So I, I felt that I sensed that in his speech and his demeanor that he that don't mean to... he's scared oh, though. No, 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 no. no. That's that, really that respect, he, right? Mean, it, it, it didn't feel like respect. It felt uh, like scared. I'm just gonna okay. keep it a bitch. Okay. It okay. felt like fear. Okay. I'm just that's just me being honest. I'm not right, trying to right, make right. about a bitch. I'm just no. That's your opinion. Yeah. It felt like fear. It felt like fear and uncomfortability came into him whenever Ace name was and so I'm just listening like, all right, let me see how he handled this. Right. He didn't. Right. You could tell he didn't want to say nothing. He didn't want to say out of nothing the, out of the way, like he disrespectful. Didn't, he didn't want to say nothing, just to be careful, to be to make sure I don't say nothing that this man might get offended of. Yeah. Because right now I'm trying to I'm trying to get him, I'm trying to wean him on my side. I'm trying to make peace. That's with him. all a real I'm nigga want though. I'm trying to be cool though. with him so I can get booked for battles again. Cause I don't want to run into him while we beefing, and it might turn to something else. This is all my animal. Yeah, cause your animal. battle rap career over if niggas wash you. Yeah, you feel me? So yeah. he say that's not why. He say he been booked for a few battles that fell through. You feel me? Cause people feel like ever since he been beefing with Ace, he hasn't battled. Yeah, I think it's a, a mixture that, of them both. That could I be think it's a mixture co- of them both. coincidence, and it yeah. could not be. All right, you got it though. But I think it's a mixture of them both. But um. Yeah. I think he's afraid. I think he's scared of Ace I mean, Fuck it, man. This is not a safe <laughs> place, man. The truth for Zahir, man. All my words got squatter rights. I, I think he's I intimidated by Ace I mean, bro. Damn. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Now, I don't make him a bitch. I always knew him to be a solid nigga who wasn't scared of nothing or nobody. But Ace I mean obviously got his number. I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. And I'm usually good with this because God blessed me with discernment. 
Well, this, universal, whatever no. words you want to use. No, discernment means you can think for yourself to get to a clear decision. Well, I know that, how to read people, bro. I know how to read situations. I know how to... Okay, like body language and yeah, shit like, like that. I calculate all that. I'm telling right. you for a fact right. that Ace I mean, I'm sorry, that drugs, drugs is intimidated by Ace I mean, bro. I'm telling you that for a guaranteed fact. And after well, if you Ace think about him, it, he still was calling him a bitch after he talked to him and acknowledged that he talked to drugs. He still said he is a bitch, even though he clarified his stance on it. It's not like I'm trying to be a tough guy. It's just he did some bitch ass shit. So until he fixed that, I'm right. still gonna say he a bitch. In spite now, of now, I ain't gonna lie. Him. People feel like, like let's say, like yesterday, my man told me I was acting feminine. Okay. But I definitely ain't going to say no names because I, I definitely got a hell of love for my man. You know what I'm saying? Right. But just something real quick. I'm not going to be narcissistic about this, right? Mm. I leave it open for a nigga to feel disrespected by what I said. Mm. But we got to... Like, Ace I mean kind of went overboard because if a nigga already don't want no smoke and apologize, why are you still disrespecting me? It's extra. It sounds extra. It kind of is extra. But I am an outsider but, that's not privy yeah, to what's say, up yeah. with they beef, why, they how long the timeline has been. So I'm like ignorantly commenting on that. So forgive me for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in, in my eyes, from my perspective, yeah. I feel like. And I only Ace had one conversation right, with Ace. And I that was before no he was on URL. You feel me? I ain't never had no um, conversation. We was at an event in Lancaster. And I think he battled, uh, um, what's my man that be with uh, your boy? Boss Status. Boss Status. I think Boss Status fucked the nigga up that he was supposed to battle that day. We was in Lancaster. And um, shout out Cash. He was giving an event. And I think Ace I mean battled Boss Status. Status. To stand in for the nigga that boss status fought. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to battle a nigga, but they needed to get their fade out the way. He fucked the nigga up. Boss status fucked the nigga up so bad the nigga left. You know what I'm saying? And we had security, so it wasn't a thing like, well, what if he came back? Nah, everybody was straight. Some of the pit niggas was straight. Some of the Lancaster niggas was good. And we had security with an AR on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So however it went... You feel me? Yeah. So look, so the nigga dips. Boss status still won a battle. Ace battled the nigga. Right? He asked me what I thought after the battle. I don't know why he picked me this random time. You feel me? But I was like, no. You low-key fire. You different from niggas. Not saying that whatever I said made no difference in his ascension as a battle right. rapper. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying I had a conversation with that man before. Right. And the type of nigga he seemed like was just like, he know he was going upstairs, but he humbly just asked who I guess he felt like was valid. You know what I mean? Maybe it wasn't just me. He said something too, but I mean, I got kind of authentic vibes from him. Like, you not like trying to be something you not. not you not just infatuated with battle rap. Maybe you got a mission on battle. You know what I mean? It just came off as like, damn, you're kind of solid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Type shit. And um yeah. Ace, right? You're talking about Ace. I'm talking about Ace. Yeah. That's how I met Ace. Right. You feel me? Ace, listen, man, Ace to me come off as a nigga with some kind of moral compass. You feel me? A nigga that actually stand for something. That just not out this bitch trying to be like everybody else and trying to emulate what he see in the world. Like the nigga he, Right. You feel me? Like he actually got a purpose in his mind, you feel me? Right. He actually you feel of me? some sort, of you some know what I mean? Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Drugs, drugs, cool. You feel me? He seem like a cool nigga, but I but can he tell on a clout he, chase a little yeah, bit, right? Like yeah, like he cares a lot about the gangster image, like what people feel, be, and yeah, yeah, yeah that people shit. Feel about him. I want to be perceived that as I'm a not grown guy. yet, type shit. There you go. Yeah. So a nigga like that will crack because you gotta think about it. At the end of the day, if they're trying to pursue. This image that they want to portray, then obviously they ain't there yet. Mm -hmm. So it ain't really them yet. They ain't really fully embodied, which means they can be broken. They can crack. And a and if Ace I mean is who he say he is, he's already solid. So the solid is gonna break the weak. Yeah, you feel me? And Just by staying happen. solid. Yeah. See, what you don't happen? What you don't understand Talk. is 
what you don't understand is, and this rather regardless of whatever your belief is, whatever you may call it, the powers that be see that you're not being authentic. He see that you're not who you're trying to portray yourself. So then he sends somebody to infiltrate. He already knows it's going to be successful because you're not who you say you are. He going to show you it's real. He going to show you, know you it's real. And we talking about the universe, the God, the energy that is. Exactly. Whatever you want to call the higher power that make everything click when you're not thinking. Exactly. Like when, like, say for instance, if it's smoking, it's hella smoking. The firefighters happen to see the smoke. They come into it. It's the same thing. When the powers that be see that you woofing and you trying to portray yourself as something you're not, now I'm going to test you. Now I'm going to send something your way to test yeah. you. And you Because the fall. powers that be could be God and the universe. Yeah. The powers that be could be a part of the battle rap culture. Yeah. It, it, could, it could be your neighborhood. It, it could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a whole bunch of communities within a community within a community, uh, circles upon circles upon circles. You feel me? Exactly. And wherever you at in any of them circles, you're going to be tested if you're putting out whatever energy, energy you're putting exactly, out. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Even if it's good energy, bro, it could be good Everything energy. gets verified, it, whether via human or via metahumanism or the metaverse or... Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, if you're running around talking about, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, listen, man, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to do this. This is what I'm trying to do. You put all energy in that way, then it's most, okay. It's okay, going to show you that it's not right. easy exactly. at some point. Going, yeah, right? something's going to happen that's going to challenge you to see if you really bought that yeah, or not. Yeah, you're not just going to be able to be Tupac and not have some negative things come your way. Niggas need to learn from shit like that. Exactly. Bro. You're not so going to be able to be Nipsey bro. Hustle without bullshit coming your way. Exactly. So drugs was out this bitch woofing for a while. He got away for a long time. Got just, you yeah, know, but you niggas start believe. buying them tickets. Exactly. Like, nigga, let's see. And once niggas start buying them tickets and start analyzing them, like, hold up, this ain't got a barcode on it. Yeah. This wolf ticket ain't right. Yeah. I'm going back to the nigga who sold me yeah, this nigga, I'm ready to call Will Call, see what the fuck cracking. Yeah, you feel me? So you just got challenged by a nigga who, you know what I mean, was more solid than you. And right now you in a jam because you thinking about your battle rap. But if you stayed at your degree of sol solidarity. Right. Nobody would question that because it would be overwhelming that you're that. Yo, when you be you, bro, nobody... I'm not saying you don't run into no problems, right. but I'm keeping it a bang. Right. Nobody challenges your character when you're being you, yo. When you are forced to be reckoned you, with, everybody second guesses before they go a certain way. This right. is why you be careful who your friends are because your friends test you. Be careful who your bitch is. Because your bitch will test you. Right. You need people that test you with love instead of testing you with otherwise. Facts. You feel me? Facts. And now when niggas just ain't still testing you. Exactly. And you're proven to be exactly what he think you is. Respectfully. Yes. A bitch. Yes. Respectfully. You though. have been very open to all types of opposition. Like I'm talking about even post moon and pre moon, and nobody's a bitch ass nigga for losing a fight. No, it's a fucking fight. Use a bitch ass yeah, nigga for not giving a fade up. Now I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you way up here. Like if you was future, mm -hmm. some nigga we don't know from his past, mad at him now mm -hmm. that he up. You don't give those fades out because you're the only nigga that can lose. Even if Future whip whoever nigga ass, 